In this video, we will review the programming and setup of the SAK60 version 3. In versions 1 and 2, you had to scroll through all of the settings and change only those relevant to your application. In version 3, the settings are grouped by application. Here we'll review setting up the version 3 SAK60 for generator lockout and under frequency load management for air cooled generators and we will also review enabling Y mode for HVAC systems. To determine which version of the SAK60 you have, hold the mode button for about three seconds and see if two digits appear on the display or if you have one letter followed by four numbers. In version 3, you will see the two digits, and then you can scroll to the relevant master mode. To program the SAK60 version 3, you must first select the master mode that can corresponds to your application. To do this, hold the mode button for about three seconds until two digits appear on the display. You will then press the mode button briefly to scroll to the correct master mode, then hold the mode button again for about three seconds to enter the programming mode. After you've adjusted the settings, simply leave the SAK60 alone for about seven seconds, and it will save the changes and reload the programming with the new values. It will remain in the selected master mode. To set up for generator lockout, first hold the mode button for about three seconds, and we see FA appear. I will now press the mode button briefly to scroll to LD for load drop. I will then hold the mode button again for three seconds to enter the programming mode. There's only one setting here, D000.2. It does not need adjustment. The SAK60 is now set for load drop so that the load will be off anytime you're on generator power. To set up the SAK60 version 3 for under frequency load management with an air cooled generator, First, hold the mode button for three seconds until two digits appear. Then press the mode button briefly to scroll to UP. Hold the mode button, go into programming mode. The first setting does not need adjustment. Press the mode button again to scroll to G, which looks like a nine, it's a lowercase g. That will be set to five minutes by default. You can leave it there for the first SAK60 on a system, but for additional SAK60s on the same system, you should stagger that by 0.5 or 30 seconds to stagger the on time of your various loads. Once you set that, press the mode button again to scroll to O. This will be set to five minutes by default. If you have additional SAK60s in the same system, you'd wanna scroll up, set that up, 5.5 or 6.0 and thusly for additional SAK60s on the same system. When using the SAK60 on an HVAC circuit, you should enable Y mode. Y mode is only used on HVAC systems. Y mode will prevent extended reverse cycling of scroll compressors upon return to utility power. To enable Y mode, first hold the mode button for about three seconds until two digits is display. Press the mode button to scroll to UA. Hold the mode button for three seconds to enter programming mode, and then scroll all the way to Y. It's a lowercase y, looks like a four, there it is. Set Y to 5.0 minutes. And that's it. You've now enabled Y mode, which will shut off the compressor upon return to utility power. These are the most common applications for the SAK60. If you are using it for a different application, just consult the instructions that come with the unit. And if you need further assistance, call PSP Tech Support.